Hello, and welcome to another episode of Cases That Should Have Gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Today, we're talking about lying at the border. Cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Alexander Bielski and his wife lied at the border. They were crossing into Canada with a newly purchased RV and motorcycles and said that they had nothing to declare. This was an attempt to try and avoid paying the tax on the RV and the motorcycles, which were obviously above their personal exemptions. Upon being investigated for this, the CBSA officers not only dealt with the motorcycle and the motorhome that Mr. Bielski had failed to declare, but also seized his personal laptop and his cell phones. At no point did the Canadian Border Services Agency obtain a warrant to search those devices, despite the fact that searches ultimately occurred and the information contained on the phones and the laptop was used in the case against him for making a false statement to a border official. In the circumstances, the Supreme Court of Canada here had a real opportunity to test this issue of how far search powers can go at the border. Although in Canadian law, searches of cell phones and, uh, and electronic storage devices and computers may require specific authorization in search warrants, including recent cases from the Supreme Court of Canada that clarify this principle. And although in Canadian law, searches of cell phones for text messages require warrants because of the third party sender's privacy interest in the text message information, the Supreme Court of Canada didn't feel the need to address whether or not this applies to searches at the border where people have a much more reduced expectation of privacy. However, our expectation of privacy in our electronic devices is at its highest, and the Supreme Court of Canada had an opportunity here to clarify this tension between the expanded search powers at the border and the heightened privacy interests we have in electronic devices. Certainly, it would have been easy for the border officers to get a warrant in this circumstance, and so the question of why they didn't and why it shouldn't be necessary for them to do so becomes all the more significant in that situation. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait for another case where electronic and data privacy arises at the border to see whether or not the Supreme Court of Canada takes the opportunity to clarify the scope of CBSA agency powers in that specific location. You're watching. Cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. I'm Kyla Lee at Acumen Law Corporation. Thank you to Brazen Bull Creative for putting together these videos. Please tune in next week for another exciting episode.